Hello, 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 my beginners in Adobe After Effects CS5 and 5.5. My name is Mark with the May Files. Um, I normally make short videos, short movies, um, but I said, you know what? I want to do a few tutorials and tell people about the things that I wish I knew when I first started with Adobe After Effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, and also Sound Booth, because uh, sound is a huge part of video. And uh, any video actually but anyways I'm gonna show you some really basic stuff and some really cool keyboard shortcuts that I wish I knew that I, I was going crazy trying to find them when I first started because uh, without these shortcuts and you're gonna see it makes life a living hell with these shortcuts it makes life so much easier and so much simpler and it makes your workflow go so much better all right if you want to learn more advanced stuff, I suggest going to uh, the man, the master of Adobe After Effects, who was just at NAB. I think NAB is still on. It's uh, NAB in Las Vegas. He's actually speaking at the Adobe booth in NAB. And that would be my man, Andrew Kramer of VideoCopilot.net. I love this guy. Love him. He's awesome. He's, he's done work for um, Super 8. Um, commercials, movie, I mean everything, he's just great. I mean he's very good and you know what? He teaches you for free which is amazing. You know he does sell products which are awesome products um, but he does it for free. But check him out Andrew Kramer videocopilot.net. Alright I'm gonna teach you some basic stuff, some really cool sh keyboard shortcuts. Today I'm gonna talk about um, animating text. Now I'm not talking about going up here and Clicking a preset and clicking on text and going down here and oh, animate in a, hmm, I think I want this or maybe maybe that or no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about something much cooler. You can say, Mark, much cooler. How can it be much cooler? Well, I'm gonna tell you if you just stand around and listen. All right, so we want to create a, uh, a a a solid first. So we're gonna up to layer. We're gonna go up to layer new solid we're gonna click on this here if it's not black and make it black uh, I'm gonna hit OK click to make it comp size comp size hit OK now it's gonna automatically make the comp uh, the layer the entire length of, of your of your comp alright I don't want it the entire length of my comp so I'm gonna tell you about shortcut keyboard shortcut number one I'm gonna make the entire Thing 15 seconds. So I want to end the comp in 15 seconds. So in order to snap this timeline right here, I could go like this, hold shift, and it'll snap in, right? I could do that. Or I could just press the keyboard number, or sorry, keyboard letter N. Boom. What? Letter N will snap it to wherever you have your little needle here. Same thing if you want to make it in the beginning different, you press the letter B to begin it. Two shortcuts. Letter N will snap it to the end. Okay? Letter B will snap it to the beginning. To undo, ready for shortcut number three, keyboard shortcut number three, to undo, this is a very important one, to undo the last thing you did in After Effects, no matter what it is, it's Control Z will undo the very last thing you did. Now, you're going to make mistakes when you're editing, when you're doing, uh, when you're compositing, when you're doing effects. You're going to make mistakes. It just happens. You're going quick. You're going boom, 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 boom. You make a mistake. Don't freak out. Listen, you've been working on this thing for an hour and a half. You make a mistake. Trust me, you're going to freak out. Control Z, boom, out of there. All right, great. Let's move on. I got tricks for this too. How to snap that baby down there too. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. All right, so we want to create this animated text. We want to create it real easy. We want to do a lot of different things. We don't just want one animated preset. We don't just want one. We want to do a bunch of different things, maybe at the same time, and you can't do that with the plugins. You just can't do it. I'm going to show you how you're sitting down for this. You better be. All right, with your solid selected, hit effects. Obsolete, obsolete. You're saying, Mark, obsolete. What are you talking about? Pay attention. Obsolete. Path text. What? 
in that box you want to hit put your text in there. I'm just putting May files. You can put whatever you want. You can put, you know, Santa Claus, whatever. You're going to have this pop up with it's got now four points and then it has your text on there. Now my text is kind of small, so I'm going to increase the size of the text. So I go underneath the plug and the plugins highlight it. See so it says path text and it's got you know, that little white around it. I'm going to go to the size under character and just bring it up to 160. Now you can either do it one of two ways. You can do what I'm doing, press on it, and then it's holding down the left mouse clicker and then left and right. Or you can press click on it, type in what you want, 160, and boom, away. And there you go. Bang. Butter. All right. Now, these four points manipulate the line. The line is the path the text is going to take when you animate it forward and back. And you can do some really cool things. I'm going to go like this, take that down there. Now, you don't have to use these points. I just like doing it because it's visual. I can do it right then. You can actually animate it as well. You can animate it, but you can use up here under control points. There's each one of these uh, points here is correspondent to these. So I move this. It goes up and down to that point. This one will move that and so on. You can animate them too by clicking on this. It will create a keyframe. But we're going to talk about that in a minute, and you can animate them as well. All right, so I like that. I like that movement. It's like fluid. It's nice. Um, but I, we got to animate it now to go along this line. We have to animate it to go along this line. So we're going to go down to paragraph of your plugin down to paragraph. Okay. If it's not open, if it's closed, you just click on the arrow. Boom! It'll open it up. All right. So left margin. So where do I want to start the animation? I actually want to start it off and then come on and then over. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click on the keyframe and set a keyframe right there. I'm going to set a keyframe. See it? Set a keyframe. It's where I want it to start. Now I'm going to go off. I'm going to go up to where I want it to end. Say I want it to end around five seconds. There's our 501 is good. I'm going to go back up here, hold down, go all the way off. Now, After Effects is going to do something really cool. It's going to estimate and make it all equal the amount of time from there to there and make that go correspondent along the line. Now, another cool thing, you want to see your animation in real time on your number, on the number keypad, press 0. And it's going to RAM preview. Whoop, here it goes. Nice. Nice. All right. Nice job, kid. See? Nice job. Really nice. See, it looks cool, all right? Nice. All right, we ain't done yet, so come on. All right, so I want to animate it some more. I mean, that's cool, but I want to animate it some more. So I'm going to go right to about here. Another keyboard shortcut, another cool, cool, cool tip. To go forward and back without using your mouse, okay? Page up moves back, page down moves forward. So you page up button on your keyboard moves back, page down moves forward. Another uh, good tip, if you have clicked up here, See how the box is highlighted with this yellow line around it? You can press page up and down, but if you hold it down, it's going to work like that too. All right? If you go up to your text and hold page down, it doesn't work. See how that? You got to press it individually. So if you have this selected, or this selected. You can hold it down and it will go almost real time. Okay? If you have 
your your animate your plugin selected and hold it down it won't go you gotta tap it so that's another tip too it drove me nuts a little bit all right so we want to animate this a little more so we're gonna go right to about two seconds two seconds right there I'm going to click set a keyframe for tracking I'm gonna move forward to there and then it start to slide. Move it forward a little more. And slide. Alright, so we'll go back. We'll see how that looks. Press zero again to RAM preview. There it goes. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, cool. So you get the idea, right? I mean you could do a ton of things. We can mess with the horizontal shear, the horizontal scale and the vertical scale. So we'll move forward and uh, I'm gonna go go that way, vertical scale, go that way. I mean, it's gonna look silly but whatever. RAM preview again, here it comes. You know, the main thing to do is to, to definitely mess around, play around. The only way to learn is to actually do it. So I encourage you to go in there in the After Effects, go into this plugin and really mess around with different things. See how they work. And and I mean, you can animate it like a like a water. You can an, you can animate this to go like that. I mean, it's just crazy. This this program is awesome. And what you can do too is, I could set a keyframes right there, move forward, and then. Oh, see, Control Z, I move that, and then go like this. And then it should animate as well. Yep, there it goes. Whoa, far out, man. So hopefully this helped. Hopefully the keyboard tips helped. And, uh, you know, just experiment. Have a good time. Have fun doing what you love. And, uh Again, thanks for watching. Look for our new video coming out soon. We're actually coming out with a short movie soon, um, about five to ten minutes, actually ten to fifteen minutes long. And then I'm trying to work on a feature for this this summer. But I'm gonna come out with some more tips. I got a lot more tips to tell you guys. Again, thanks for watching and uh, happy After Effects.